everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, Brian. Hello, Red Ranger. How am I doing today? How's my day been? I've done so much. Oh, my hands are cold. I finished my hand warmers. So now I have two hand warmers instead of just one and my hands can be warm and it's great. <laughs> I finished those yesterday morning. Hello, that Egyptian dude. Welcome in. Uh, ready to chill and hang out. Yeah, so reading Edgar Allan Poe requires a lot more energy than I felt like I had today because it has been a very, very busy weekend. And while I might not have been able to... <sighs> I might... <gasps> Jesus. Well, I might not have been able to um read a book reasonably well given how busy this weekend. I need to be a little bit bigger. The chat box is still showing. No, it's not. Um, while I didn't feel like I would be able to read Edgar Allan Poe today, I at least wanted to have another stream this week. And if it's doing chill stuff, just talking about how the end of the week was since I haven't streamed since Wednesday. Ev Twilight, yeah. I will. I will explain why I am Ev <laughs> as we talk to people through these quests. I might not fully voice them. I'm actually. You know what? I think I will stay as Arcanist. Aren't I cute? <laughs> this is like the basic ass bitch Arcanist uh, outfit right now. I should craft her something better, but that's for later. We're just going to do some blue quests. I had coffee too. What is this? <sighs> so yes, I might not voice them over while I chase them down, but at least... um. At least we'll get some stuff done. I need to gather information from Gradania. So the blue quests are important quests. They unlock content that I didn't realize I needed to unlock. I've explained before that my friend told me to stop doing side quests because I was getting so overleveled for MSQ. And then I didn't do any side quests, even the one that I was really meant to. Hello, Brian. Welcome in. Uh, so that is why I need to do some blue quest clear out because I'm missing a lot of content uh, that I need to have unlocked. Oh no, no need for apologies, not at all. Um, and you are always welcome in boxes in my chat. Aiden. So, Black Knight. All right, yes. So I'm I'm hunting down a black knight. I don't know why, but that's one of the quests that I I cleared out in Gradania. I need to talk to people. So Friday was Fish Friday. Actually, let's start with Thursday because it's been since Thursday that uh, I have seen you. So Thursday is the usual brewery day, and so with it. Some of them are job quests. I, I've actually, I've cleared out all of my level 60 job quests. So I don't have to do that with Bard. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with Bard until I actually start Stormblood because I did clear out that quest line. So yay. Some of them will be uh, job quests that are really easy to get through because they're basically like, take this weapon and talk to me again. Now you can use this job if you so choose. So those will be easy enough. <laughs> um, I've actually done quite a few of those already, but like dungeons being unlocked, emotes being given, uh, special, probably minions, things like that. Um, I know there's one emote in particular that I'm looking for a blue quest for, but I don't want to spoil it. So I will have to keep it to myself unless I come across it. Abaddon, welcome in. I appreciate the lurk. Uh, so yes, starting Thursday, typical brewery day. Most of you know that Thursdays are brewery, day, brew, brewery, brewery days, brewery days with friends. And I didn't actually drink all that much. The place was scorching for no good reason. I think probably because they had turned the air off because it was getting a little colder, but they have giant ass windows that let the sun in and make it really hot. So we, um... We didn't stay long, and to top it off, I'd accidentally gotten the last of the keg. And if you get the last of it and you don't get a full glass, they give it to you for free. So I had maybe like two thirds of a beer and then we left. And I just kind of chilled out the rest of the night because it was a very long, not super, not super like 
busy day and busy days make me not busy days make me tired because I feel like I'm just waiting around for something to happen and so I was more than content to come home and just I think I actually started to finish out some of the crafting jobs which I did I am all through the crafting jobs for heaven's word yay but I need to start the post heaven's word I need to start one in particular because I see someone again that I've been waiting to see for a bit and I'm just like hee hee yay <laughs> but um that'll 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 have to wait i need to get i need these blue quests gone god damn it um archery guild is this way so that was thursday and then friday was the last fish friday of the year because we have good friday coming up which by the way next friday i don't work so i will actually probably be here just streaming more blue quests because i know i'll still have some i know they'll still be here there's no way i make it that far and clear out every blue quest in under a week no way no way so we may have like an eight hour um blue quest clearing stream instead of the fact that i don't actually have work so that'll be nice oh right i have to be a bard do i have to be a bard or do i just have to be a certain level Level requirement 46. Yeah, I can't do this as my Arcanist. I'm level 13. <laughs> Equip. Hello. Let me in, please. So, yeah, that might be next Friday. But this Friday was the last Fish Friday. And it was out of town. So I did a considerable amount of travel on the road. And also, I don't know if you may have noticed. <laughs> Hi, Frankie. I don't know if you may have noticed. There's not a lot to do in this area that isn't breweries so my other group of friends and i yet again ended up at a brewery for a single drink while i was in town with them and then it was terrible it was so bad i felt so bad for my friend my friend has a one-year-old and the one-year-old i don't know what what's going on with her one-year-old but she seems to have an upset tummy and she just got sick everywhere as we were on our way out the door and so we kind of scrambled scrambled real quick to clean that up because you know be be considerate to the people that that are working there like i just um one of our friends was like go get towels and two of the guys took off to the bathroom to go grab towels from an automatic towel dispenser and i just walked up to the front counter and was like hey can i have towels and they handed me a roll and it was fine definitely left a tip for the people who had to like sanitize and sterilize and things like that so we made sure they were well compensated for having to deal with the unfortunate reality of like one-year-olds in their establishment which it's not like a bar like i would might maybe feel more hesitant at letting kids into just like a bar because like people can be kind of rowdy at bars but breweries seem to be much more family oriented they even have like a giant checkers board for them and it's it's pretty welcoming to families because they know parents need things too so that was friday and i got home and i just died <laughs> i just passed the fuck out i was like i can't do this so like by 8 30 i was already in bed it was so bad uh oh hi ken welcome in ken welcome in frankie a ghostly knight atop his baleful steed the dark divinity odin oh god well that's a primal because in final fantasy 6 that's an esper so <laughs> espers are primals in this game and i'm kind of here for it when I say brewery, it's an actual... Yes, they brew in-house and they have their own taps. And sometimes they will uh, they will sell to other establishments in the area. So there's one that brings in a lot of guest taps, but also has a considerable amount of their own. You've been so afraid to go near Odin. Oh, no. Yeah, no. That one's going to stay until I can, like, voice, like, VC with people and be like, hey, help a lot of these, I'll, I'll probably end up unlocking dungeons or trials, and they're just going to stay until I can clear them out with people. <laughs> um, make for quarry mill, seek out brother. Oh, Pessy. Pessy. I don't like that name. I'm sorry. I'm probably pronouncing it horribly wrong, but I don't like your name, sir. Be swift. 
time is not on our side. No, fuck it's not on our side. Like if it's an if it's a primal, we do not have the luxury of time until you just don't go into the trial, you know? <laughs> but yeah, you don't have those. Oh yeah, no, I, I love it. There's one brew in particular that I'm very partial to. Um, and they work in conjunction with a local coffee shop to make a coffee beer that is amazing. Amazing. So that was Friday. Friday, I just, yeah, really just passed the fuck out as soon as I got home. Wasn't the best, but, you know, sleep important. So yesterday, yesterday, the reason that I wasn't here is because I was out of town at an event. And it was an amazing event. Uh, like civilized men and women. Let's take the Gridania Etherite. So, yesterday, at nine o'clock in the morning, I delivered Sir Doggo to the boarding place. I did some laundry. And then I spent some time doing my makeup and my hair and getting showered and all ready for a formal event. It was a masquerade and it was incredible. Um, so yeah, I went to a fucking masquerade yesterday. It was a considerable drive to get there. Um, which is why I wasn't really able to do all that much except for get ready, like drop Sir Doggo off, get ready, drive. We stayed overnight, um, and drove back this morning. So, but how many times do you get the chance to go to a masquerade? Like, and they played, of course, Masquerade from Phantom of the Opera. And it was like, ah, I love that song. I was one of the two solo trumpets uh, that play at the beginning in marching band when we did it. Because of course I was, you know? <laughs> hello, hello, Reeve, welcome in. It's going great. I'm just explaining. Oh yeah, I'm in my dress. Why am I in my dress? You can't fight in a freaking dress. All right, no, 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 no. Do I want to be Noctis? No. I like this one. This one's cute. Or I could go Pirate Bard. I mean, but I really like the simplicity of this outfit. So cute. Moving on. <laughs> so yeah, and it was really funny. I felt so bad for my friend. Do I live in a fantasy land with modern science? It was so cool. Your vex to differ. Okay, but like, Tell me, okay, I will show you. Oh, hello, Sir Doggo, Bork Raid. This dress, like, if she does anything, anything in this dress, she is flashing her panties to the world and she doesn't really like that. So I'm not gonna make her flash her panties to the world. Like, <laughs> she, can, she can exist in comfort and fight in style without having a panty revealing dress. Just saying. Okay, speak with the yellow. Finish making an edit, let's go! All right, what am I doing at this? Oh, is this, is this PVP? Am I unlocking PVP? Doable, but not desirable. I will agree there. Uh, um, where am I going? What is happening? Help? What is this? I, I was not prepared to end up in something like this. What is happening? Where am I? Um, airship? Are those other players? Fort? Hi, Tootsie. Welcome in. I have no idea what's happening right now. But I'll, I'll take in the cutscene, I guess. Other people terrifying. I mean, here's our guys. Oh, oh capture the flag. Is this capture the flag? I'm going to fuck this up so bad. <laughs> Delightful. Hi, Spider-Man. Welcome in. Carton of Flats? Oh, right, 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 right. We're reclaiming the land. I forgot about that. 
Before we proceed, this isn't gonna be like some jaunt in the wolf's den. You'll be pitted against wave of wa wave after wave of fellow alliance members in battle, and they won't care one whit that you're the warrior of light. Well, they shouldn't. I'm just, I'm just me. The campaign will be long and brutal, and victories won today may be undone tomorrow. Consider the borderland ruins. We need only seize control of each ruin in the region, right? Wrong. Defense is paramount as well, for our rivals will muster forces to challenge our claims. Just for that reason, we have established an airship route directly to the front line. Those who are ready and willing to fight and will never want for transportation. <laughs> ah, but that look on your face bespeaks confusion. Are we at war or not? What is this bollocks about no killing? What in the seventh hells is going on? That's what you're thinking, yes? You've read my mind, good sir, or my face. It's less war and more organized violence to resolve a territorial dispute. They're more like guidelines. Yes, it is to be civilized violence. Killing Alliance members is strictly prohibited, though accidents have been known to happen, mind you. Jesus Christ. But you of all people have nothing to fear. You've escaped certain death more times than I can count. What are the odds you failed to do so this time, eh? All right, I'll complete it, but I sure as fuck ain't doing it right now. The borderline frontline unlocked. The borderline ruins located on the outskirts of the Cartano Flats are now accessible. Control of this ancient Allegan site is dead decided via large-scale player versus player battles known as frontline campaigns. Yeah, no. Goodbye. Blue quest fulfilled. We'll do that later. <laughs> How are you today, Tootsie? Capture the flag to the death. Not to the death. We must be we must be civilized alliance members, you see. <laughs> How uncivilized. Ah, you beat the first boss of Metal Gear Rising without taking damage. Very nice. Okay, so we are going to many a different place. We have to go to East Shroud, Little Solace, Nine Ivies, and Quarry Mill. Getting ready for you, Cobb. Ooh, good luck. What are you... I know that you tend to run that one quite a lot. What are you after this time? Or so uncivilized. This heart really does not allow me to see shit. Okay. Uh, we have many a place to go, so we're just going to leave out the front entrance, and I'm sure we'll come across something. It's like paintball. Just remove the T. Paintball. I've never done paintball before, and I'm a little sad. My aim is actually really good with things like arrows and guns. Helping friends prog and learn the fight. You and Bira are going in in a few. I wish you the best. That doesn't sound easy to be in charge of people. Oh, blue quest. Let's go. All right, any others? Hawk Manor. Deepcroft. Nope, just this one blue quest in Bent Branch Meadows. Nah, you're just bodies. You're trying to figure out themselves. Oh, I love it. Well, good luck to them then. <laughs> Good with archery and guns. I am, actually. Like, surprisingly so. I have a little 380 pistol. Uh, and the very first time... So, it, it really does feel like you have to find a weapon that is suited to you. And, like, I'm not, like, a concealed carry. I'm not going to go around shooting people. But, like, uh, my friend is very into old weaponry. And he has a place that we can shoot. And when I took this one particular gun out for a spin at one of the shooting ranges, I got nine out of 10 shots in the seven points or higher, which would have actually allowed me, if I'd been doing a concealed carry test, I would have passed. And it was the first time that I'd ever used it. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm something of a, of a weapons user myself. <laughs> Hello, Turkey. Gonna pull out the blunderbuss? Someone in this game does use a blunderbuss. She's she's hot. <laughs> it's valid to have a small gun for protection. Yep, yep. I I like to think that my first lines of defense are Sir Doggo and my security system. But if someone is dumb enough to disregard those two, I'd like to be able to protect myself. The Chocobo Keep Lucolo. Lucolo? Maybe far from carrots? No. A bitter carrot like root. But he has some matters close to his heart that he would discuss with you. Oh, wait. Are you from Ishgard? Are you that far from home? 
Oh. <laughs> Gotta find one that suits you. Yeah. And with a bow and arrow, bow and arrow is a bit more... I'm not as good with a bow and arrow, but I'm not bad. I can kill... <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I started learning during Halloween time and they had like zombies up on the targets instead of actual target targets. I could kill three out of six zombies at like 25 feet <laughs> with two days of training. In school, you did archery twice, both times the coach made, made comments. You must have had a lot of experience. Hell yeah. Sometimes you just find something that works. All battle and no bonding makes for a less noble bird. I already have a fine residence of your own. I don't, I mean, I have my free company residence, but I don't have my residence. Maybe that's what he's talking about. I'll have to check in with my free company. I have not done as much as I should have with it. <sighs> Closeness leads to fondness and there are other perks. If you wish we have Ishgard have, you are from Ishgard, poor guy. We have forgotten more than Gridania will ever know, I fear. Katniss for the Hunger Games. I mean, I have somehow ended up like an IRL bard. <laughs> it was never intentional, but like I sing and I shoot a bow and arrow and I love going out in the woods and just existing with nature. <sighs> one is Guardian Knack is to stable residence at one's residence. Stable chocobos at one's residence to make it possible to train and feed the birds. The second knack is to keep the stable meticulously cleaned and picked up. Well, yeah, you don't want your, your burb living in filth. Chocobos are cleanly creatures and easily distressed by slovenly housekeeping. So they're cat bird, cat horse birds. Pick up every vegetable scrap littering the stable if you please. Wow. Make me do your dirty work. I get the feeling you just don't want to do it yourself. It's very easy to be like, hey, just make sure you pick up the stables. But he's just all about, no, actually, do my job for me, please. It's like the Moogles all over again. <laughs> Bard for real, for real. Said that though one of them lost all respect, instantly replaced with frustration. Guess they weren't as good. Yeah. Some people are like, there is something to be said for an amount of talent going into something that regardless of the reason that you know how to do it, even if you've never done it before, like for some reason you're okay with it. And people get very irritated with that, but they also seem to think that's all there is to it and that you don't actually have to work to develop a skill. And that is wrong. That's why instead of saying, I can't draw, I'll say things like, I never took the time to draw. I never learned how to draw because I could be passable, I'm sure with enough practice, but like, I have other things that I want to do and drawing isn't on the top of that list. So I'll just leave it to the people who do know how to draw and compensate them for their time instead of bitching and moaning about like, oh, I'm never going to be an artist and I, I could never be. <laughs> he wink wonk. I actually thought you had already left for you, Cobb, but in general, like commissions are a thing for a reason because you can't learn every skill. Exactly. You could be more naturally adept, but that doesn't mean that, I mean, you can't develop some measure of skill. Very good. I will take those. Here, take your scraps. What does it say? Random bits and pieces of vegetables, leaves, and fruit left uneaten by a chocobo. And over. So the place is as fresh as cream. How all the chocobos look fluffing their feathers in contentment. Oh, we just love chocobos. I want to ride my chocobo all day. You would do well to lay in a magic broom. You shall need to use those for a proper cleaning, but that is for another time. There's more to stable care than simple clean. Do I get the broom emo from this guy? Fresh feed. Not the aptest tutor for this craft. There's one that has the knack right here in bench bran Bent Branch. Mistress Margal. Resident botanist. All right. Well, thank you for the carrots. Wait, I haven't finished. I haven't gotten the carrots yet. Where the hell are you? Over here. It's definitely a journey that takes time. It is. It is. It is. And I mean, I would have preferred if my parents hadn't like 
destroyed any hope that I had for like so so my parents very much like they were like you don't have any talent for drawing so we're just not gonna even gonna let you try it and like waste your time and so they very much discouraged me from ever learning to draw which is why when it came to writing I didn't tell them I was writing and I kept anything that I was writing mostly hidden until the one day that my mom decided she was going to change the sheets in the middle of the week and found my notebook and then immediately as I suspected told me it was a waste of time thanks mom <laughs> but yeah protect protect your interests and 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 keep them close and keep them safe and don't let people tell you to not do them because it sucks <laughs> but yeah so would I have had a little bit of a leg up if I'd been drawing in childhood? Probably. But that didn't mean that I wouldn't be able to learn now, and I just never did. Discouraging parents, gang! Let's go! <laughs> yep. That's actually why I picked up crochet. I know it's gonna sound... It's gonna sound kind of bad, but I literally picked up crochet out of pure spite because that was another thing that my mom just kind of gave up on me about, and I was like... I can fucking do this and i have <laughs> some fee for your chocobo it's been a warm spring try the cracker root many birds who would go otherwise off their feed can't resist my fucking dog sir doggo will refuse to eat his food in like random little food strikes and it's like come on bud i know you're hungry but if i layer it with a little bit of cat food he's like oh yes this is an entirely different food that i shall now consume <gasps> they're so picky sometimes is a joy to grow whether it be vegetables chocobo or the skill in one's hands hey we were just talking about that why not try your own hand at growing vegetables you say you have a house a house must have a field i don't have a house why are you saying i have a house i'm at like two million gil right now i can't have a fucking house unless again maybe they're talking my free company house I actually don't know. Hi, Midnight! Welcome in! Dad always said the only real talent people have is making something hard look as easy as breathing. While your mom was just telling you to stop trying to pick up stuff she wanted you to do. No. Oh, hello, Dragoon. How are you? We are not what we eat. My father would be a godfish to swim in butter. Ah, it would be a dessert. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I love seeing the mounts I've never seen before. Shall we ever get tired of speaking of the Gizzle Greens? Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, to grow my own feed, I would if I had a field. <laughs> you came for a handful of seeds and got an earful, but that's the way of it with us botanists. Mana would beg to differ. She's not one for words, but she's also very, uh... She's a good botanist. <laughs> Did a lot of silly voice impressions when you were a child, and nowadays your friends are surprised when you do really good impressions. They say you should be a voice actor. Then you should try it. You should keep going. I, that was yet another thing that I was discouraged from. And then I said, fuck it. And I just was as animated as I wanted to be and as emotive and expressive as I could be. Like, it wasn't an intentional thing. I just stopped letting people bring me down from the type of person that I naturally am. And I channel that when I'm doing things. So it's not like I intentionally move towards doing voice acting it was something i always wanted to do but i just have i just like being energetic and i like being expressive because i want to let people know how i'm feeling you know there are too many people who think that they have to hide excited parts of themselves and happy parts of themselves like i will be in the car singing my lungs out and i'll see people just kind of like side on me and i'm just like and I just keep going because I can. No point in being embarrassed just because people don't know how to have a good time in life. Hello, 
Bubba, welcome in. Screw the rules. I have blue hair. <laughs> I know he has green hair, but like, I have blue hair. So screw the rules. Hello. I have unlocked another blue quest. <laughs> Here to learn about trading your bird, you say? Sail your Tokopo, you'll be able to train the sweetheart, but you need to give him a treat straight after and not a moment later. What I do is I go to pick up a, a, a choice bit of feed before I get the bird into training. The results vary as that slick ruffian at the ebony stalls used to say. The results depend on how clean the stables are, what you, you give. But as long as you love his, your Chocobo, it's hard to muck it up. Got a fine root on you already. Go start trading little Leah there. I probably should have done this earlier in the game and I had no idea. Hello, little Leia. Did I just get kicked? Oh, no, she's just kicking because she can. <laughs> I thought I just got the shit kicked out of me by a chocobo. I'd be dead. That would hurt so bad. You have some skills at this, I reckon. Some are made to train just that one bird, but you can handle any chocobo. Some venturers share a stable, you know. Might be you could care for birds other than your own. Muck out the stables. Means you're helping raise the other venturers birds well as your own. No matter who did the mucking out, really. Those birds have been cared for, you see. That ought to hold you for a while, I No use pouring too much wine in a cup. Esther turned to lo Locolo before his guardian brain case starts imagining the worst. Damn. Hey, just because he's from Ishgard. <laughs> Hello, sir. Chocobos can ruin a day. They absolutely can. You actually find wild ones and they're like, hey, don't fuck with the wild Chocobos. <laughs> they're like, they will mess you up. <sighs> Hello. Sweetly done. High praise from Keva. Excellent, excellent. I have now taught you all the knacks. You must needs know at this time, I believe. It's my hope you will add a stable to your residence and there raise a chocobo to serve as your brave mountain trusted companion. How I long to meet that bird someday. I trust you will not disappoint me. Some, some, someday. Someday. <laughs> chocobo raising. Chocobo raising is now available. You must first stable him. Chocobo stables can be purchased and placed outside free company. That's why I got this quest. I'm in a free company now. While a chocobo is stable, select train to increase his EXP. After the training is complete, do not forget get to give the chocobo a reward for his hard work. Depending on the type of reward this bird is given, his progress may change dramatically. Continually feeding your chocobo a snack of vibrant vegetables or fruits will cause him to grow feathers of a different color. Huh. Fun. So they're, I think, at least a level 52 or a level 53 enemy. So <laughs> they are. They're pretty strong. <laughs> Clean the chocobo poop. I cleaned up chocobo food. I think that's as close as we'll get. Would getting kicked by a chocobo be like a big ostrich or a, or a talent horse? I feel like it would be like getting kicked by a cassowary. Cassowaries are scary. Okay, so that is no more blue quests here. I do need to go to East Shroud, so we'll go head that way. The black chocobo, uh, the black chocobo was a gift and therefore I am riding him because he is very pretty and it was a very sweet gift for someone to give. A good chocobo. Free company, not a lethal company. I should hope not. We're supposed to... Can a chocobo survive a mantis shrimp punch? Probably. I would assume so? I don't see why not. They're considerably larger. And the mantis shrimp would probably be out of the water or at least not in its natural environment. I think a chocobo could survive a mantis shrimp punch. All right, those are not blue. I need to go up here. Here are plenty of blue, well, two blue quests. 
Oh no. Judgment bolts and lightning. Why does that sound like I'm gonna fight Ramu again? Can we stop just like running into battle with primals, please? <laughs> Hello, Conway. Welcome in. Wait. Wait, what's this? Novice retainer. Oh, you're in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Was that... Was that it? Hi. Are you... Are you good? You good there? Oh, you were sent on a venture. Oh, poor... Poor retainer. Oh, bless you, adventure. So focused was I on my task that I took no notice of the buzzards at my back. You seem confused. Have you heard not of ventures? Oh, wait. Had I not even unlocked ventures yet? Whoops. Service in which we retainers carry out procurement expeditions on behalf of our employers. Last summer won't furnish us with sufficient equipment. Despite the obvious benefits, it would afford both parties. Oh, I won't do that then. Link Pearl. Uh, have you been summoning me this entire time? Pray excuse me. <laughs> Forgive me, Master. I was waylaid by beasts. Yes, by an Ari Bard. How did you know? Of course, as you wish. Seems I must make, take my leave at once. But before I go, pray allow me to thank you. I have not to recompense you with, but should you inform my supervisor Parnell of your deeds, I am sure she will I am confident she will see fit to reward you. And we meet again, my friend, and do not forget to visit Parnell in the Shaded Bower. Alright, we'll head back to Gridania at some point. Heading to work. Hopefully you'll be able to make more streams for more than twenty minutes when you switch to a morning job soon. Ah, oh, that would be nice. I hope work goes well. Safe travels and all that. I will have quite the long stream, hopefully, on Friday as well that maybe you'll be able to jump in on. <laughs> Warrior of Lights are prone to fighting godlike beings. This is the Crystal Bearer training manual. It is, it is. Hello, Delexia. Hold up. Oh, you're who I'm supposed to be speaking with. Hello! Walking One is here. Has Walking One heard of Lord Ramu's return? I have... Then this one does not need to explain. Walking one should wait here while this one fetches older one. Older one. I like the sylphs. I think they're cute. <laughs> one is most welcome in these ones, home. The gentle sighs of winds and trees and brooks told this one of waking, walking one's peaceful words with Lord Ramu. Yeah, I definitely would not have been able to read tonight. I am messing up my words. Thunderous one challenged walking ones to battle. This one is certain Lord Ramu is pleased with walking one's strength. And such strength walking one has. Arrow shooting ones often tell grand tales of walking one. And these ones are glad to call walking one friend. Aww, the fellow bards are telling tales of my exploits. But this one must warn walking one. Touched ones have summoned Lord Ramu once more, and this time with an offering of many, many more crystals. This one does not think thunderous one means to bring judgment to Gridania. After all, Lord Ramu made special promise to walking one. It was the intentions of touched ones that had concerned this one. Touched ones yet act in fear and in hate. So the touched ones are like weirdly affected sylphs that if you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you, but they're also kind of like the dark sylphs. His presence alone drains the land of ether. It's not just Gridania, but the entire realm threatened, the thunderous one threatens. Life will seep from the soil, crops will wither and die. Then, though Lord Ramu will it otherwise, walking ones will go to war over what remains. This one begs brave and courageous one to fight again. Touched ones must understand that summoning thunderous ones if, when is futile. That thunderous one respects the strength of walking one. Yay! Look at them cheer for me. Thank you. This one knew walking one would do the right thing. Yes, I know how to visit the striking tree. Your news of walking one's victory. Yeah, that's going to be later. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to wait. I'm not I'm not ready for that shit yet. Okay. Um Reattune to the Sylphlands Etherite. That is somewhere over this way. Yeah, it's up there. Here it is. 
There's lots that they want me to do in East Shroud. Like, surprisingly, they just kind of want me to stay here. Ooh, spoopy music. Playful, mysterious music. <laughs> really enthusiastic about Ramu. Olmshio is perplexed by your concern for the hapless scholar. What scholar? <laughs> walking one will surely go in search of bumbling one. This one thought walking one was making joke like the time this one stole bumbling one's undergarments. Damn! One does not understand what walking one is thinking. This one would leave bumbling ones to bumble on one own, one's own. But oh well, to each one's one's own. Bumbling ones stumble off towards Lark's call. Between this place and touched one's home. Bumbling one is probably there shivering in stockings. If bumbling one found stockings anyway, which this one doubts. Am I gonna find this guy naked? <laughs> what have you done? Trees have eyes and report to touched ones. Walking one should not rush too quickly to bumbling one's aid, lest walking one fall into nasty trap. All right, what do I want to do? Which one do I do? There are so many quests. I've got this one. Okay, I cleared out the um, ill conceived venture. There are two over this way, so all right, why not? Let's start to the east in East Shroud. Whoops, I need to hear Chocobo. Bumbling is your natural state of being? I'm sure that's not true. At least not to the extent you make it sound. Every day can't be a fight with the warrior of light versus the gods. Yeah, they're just gonna have to wait. Is East Shroud perhaps shrouded in mystery? Sure feels like it with the little sylph, sylph buddies. Destination. What a terrible destination wedding. Look at how dark it is here. Oh, it's the touched ones. They've kidnapped the bumbling one. Walking one scribbles letters. Maybe walking one is smart one that everyone was talking about. Smart one. Ha! Smart one would not stumble so stupidly into these one's domain. Someone help me! They'll leave me alive! Shush, stupid one. These ones have no need for eating. Or did stupid one not read that in stupid one's paper stacks? Stupid one is even stupider than this one thought. Jesus, they are ripping him a new one. Now answer this one. Stupid one tries to sneak into this one's home and kidnap chosen one's podling, yes? Stupid one will confess or stupid one will be shocky, sizzly one. But the chosen one? Podlings, what are... Aha! Did this one know it or did this one know it? Did this one or I was just repeating what you... Oh God, they're about to fry him alive! Silence. This one here is sneaking one. What one goes there? This one knows, boss one. This one has seen walking one in little solace. Walking one is strong, not like stupid one. <laughs> this one will deal with stupid one another day. Let these ones be off. <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. A journey to the east instead of the west. I get the feeling I'll be all directions by the end of this. Do I, can I sigh? I can't sigh. <laughs> I don't want to be... I can be mean. I can slap him. <laughs> I think I heard a whoosh. Sorry, but Anakin and Luke Skywalker are not here right now. This helps so no chosen ones at this time. All right, let's, un let's aid you. Even though it just looks like I'm pushing on your head, I'm not actually untying shit. Oh, friend, how can I ever repay you? I thought I was a goner for sure. Whatever do you suppose got into those sylphs? The bestiaries describe them as carefree, fun-loving folk, and my rather limited first-hand experience has been the same. 
But do tell, to whom do I owe this debt of gratitude? <laughs> I guess my reputation has not made its way to him. An adventurer dispatched by the order of the Twin Adder on behalf of little old me, you say? <laughs> Bless the commander, always looking out for his charge. Well, I'd like nothing more than to continue this conversation. Would you mind terribly if we did so back at Little Solace? This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <clears throat> oh, we've been famous in the 14 lore for a while. We're the warrior of light, haven't you? Wait. Am I not just allowed to go through this hole right here? What the hell? Do I need to be up? Fine. <laughs> Let me just weave through. Weave through everything. Hello, Dream Toad. All right, reattuned to the etherite. And we are not doing. Is this an extreme? Or is this just a... Yeah, striking tree extreme. Oh boy. We're not doing an extreme yet. I wish I could do a reading stream. I'm just... I'm eepy. Very eepy. Okay. So there's that. And then voice of concern, but um, tsh. I swear they make such bad puns. Then again, I also make really bad puns. Some of the stuff that they come up with is like so rude. There's an achievement that you get because someone's student dies and the achievement is called School's Out Forever. It's like, God, that's horrible. <gasps> School's out forever. Hi, voice. The puns in this game sustain you. I mean, sometimes they're really fun, and then sometimes it's just like, why would you say something so horrible? Oh, hello. I say it is good to see you in one piece, friend. Oh, but where are my manners? I've not even properly introduced myself. Voice. Gridania's foremost scholar on Sylphic customs and lore at your service. Well, at least that's what I told the commander when I volunteered for the mission, but... Just between you and me, I'm actually rather new to the field. But I've been long fascinated by the cute little critters, and I thought this the perfect opportunity to make a name for myself. Which reminds me, I was just thumbing through one of the tomes I, uh, borrowed from the Stillglade Fane when I came across a particularly fascinating passage of a legendary sylph who was said to possess such power that she controls the very fate of her people. That was a very long sentence, sir. Now, I realize this might sound crazy, but I couldn't help but wonder if this might be the self-same chosen one that that frightful sylph was. Chosen one? Yes, well, does this one know the legend? Chosen one, the one who embodies the spirit of all the trees that have ever lived or ever will live in these one's forest home. Once every 10,000 years does the chosen one sprout forth to lead these ones into a new era before returning to slumber, birth and rebirth, such as the cycle of these ones' civilization. 100 years, huh? So if the last recorded sighting of the Chosen One was... Yes, that would mean the new rebirth would occur in... Eh, just give me a moment now. Yes, carry the one and... Elder One! Could it be that rebirth of Chosen One is nigh and Touched Ones are plotting something? The Touched Ones are always plotting something! Like, why is this a surprise? Huh. Well, I'll be. I believe our self friend here has the right of it. This one does not like this at all. Something must be done. And away he goes. Something, yes, something indeed must be done. And yet many questions of import remain to be answered. Such as, where might we find this chosen one? What is the true nature of the power she holds? 
And most importantly of all, where, pray tell, did I misplace my underclothes? I know not if this is related to the coming of the Chosen One, but the Twelfth Wood is terribly <coughs> chilly these days. But regardless, I swear now that I shall remain at Little Solace until these mysteries are unraveled. It was not by dumb luck that I was chosen for this task. No, the esteemed nature, le the esteemed leaders of my nation <coughs> knew that. No, they knew that. Mm. Why, it is rather cold, isn't it? If you'll allow me a moment's respite. Get good, dude. Get good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was it was the 14 fan fest one. Um, the DLC was being delayed. Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> yeah, that DLC. That DLC is the reason why. And I think it's hilarious that he is just so true to himself. This one is worried. If Chosen One falls into hands of Touched Ones, it could mean the end for these ones. This one must see to the safety of Little Solace. The search for Chosen One. This one would entrust a walking one. Coughing one spouts big words. Ah! He's no longer the bumbling one. He's now the coughing one. But has not the strength to save these ones. This can be seen by anyone. So this one returns to, wake, to walking one. Will walking one help these ones? Do I have the choice? You can count on this one. Thank you, walking one. Walking one is true friend to these ones. This one will not forget friendly one's kindness. Tribal quests unlocked. Oh. I have achieved neutral reputation with the Sylphs of Little Solace. Sylph quests, Sylph tribal quests are now available from, uh, available from Tanaxia at Little Solace. Furthermore, I may now purchase wares from the Sylphic vendor. Sylph conscious one. <laughs> the puns. Okay, neither of these are blue. Okay, well... That's a normal quest. All right. We are not getting into the meat of tribal quests right now. We're just not. <laughs> We're going to finish up with blues as much as I can. Wait, what is this? Huh? What is this indicator? Deck the hut. Oh, wait. Is that going to take me into a tribal quest? Did I overlook who I'm... Ah, here you are. All right. So the little refresh button looking thing are tribal quests. I actually hadn't noticed. I've also only un unlocked two other tribes, so. So cool of them to delay this so that each game get their moment to shine. Yeah. I mean, it was as much as a business of a business choice as anything, but supposedly he also wants to play it. And I, I mean, you can't fault the guy, right? Bramble patch. Destination. What am I doing here? Survey the designated area in East Shroud. Ah, this is for the Gunbreaker quest. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm looking really hard. I've even got a monocle with which to do so. Oh, hey, looks like an archer. What is happening? Whoa, dude. Oh, <laughs> bye bye arrow. Fuck him up. Oh, he is screwed. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh, I'm protecting a Viera. Have I actually run into any Viera yet? Hello, John. I think the same guy came up, came up and staged in a full cosplay one time. Would not surprise me in the slightest. Out of my way or I'll gut ya. 
Well, I guess you die. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. There are more pressing matters at hand. I can't talk to her. Hold up. Is there anybody else I can like? There are more pressing matters at hand. There ain't shit at hand until you explain to me what's going on. But I guess I don't deserve an explanation. Hi. I'm under attack. Get fucked. Bye bye. All right. Peculiar Conjurer first, because I don't want to progress. Whew, that was a close one. Look like he had Squall Sword from Final Fantasy VIII. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, I'm still angry. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I have Noctis's outfit from 14. I just can't apply Glamour Plates right here. I can't even look at them. Rude. Whoops, let me just stand in you and like pat your tail. I haven't heard this music before. Have my strength, my my strength, stranger. Have my thanks, stranger. And mine. If you hadn't shown up, things could have gone very badly for us. It's my fault. I'll be more careful next time. Truth be told, I thought we'd have a we'd have a quieter journey after sneaking past all those Imperial patrols and leaving Gear Abanya behind. How wrong I was. To think we could be caught unawares by a gang of common thieves. Gear Abanya. Have we visited there yet? What's going on? We heard a commotion and... Yeah, they're dead. That's one of them. Just like the witnesses described. Maybe just incapacitated. Maybe I didn't kill them. I don't know. Either way. Eh. They were attacking us. It was self-defense. Hmm. Strange they'd go after a pair like you. All their marks so far have been merchants and whatnot. You know, folks carrying coins and valuables who won't put much, up much of a fight. Reckon that if any of their cronies are out there watching, they'll think twice before crossing you lot again. Still, it might be an idea for you to see these travelers to Gridania. Me and the others will keep looking for the rest of the highwaymen. Please tell me this is not an escort mission. Please tell me I'm just going to meet them at Gridania and I don't actually have to escort them. I don't want to do an escort mission. Those bandits. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. We barely have a fistful of gill between us, and I have a couple of fulms of edge steel strapped to my back. Not the most likely of targets. Perhaps that's why they went straight for the kill. They might have succeeded if you hadn't stepped in. We're in your debt. I'm Radovan, and this is Sophie. I traveled here from Ilsabard. Hmm. Far to the north, where I once I served as a soldier of Garlemald. That name I know. I had no choice. My family was taken hostage. While it is true that I have fought and killed for the Empire, I would never have done so willingly. Although I freed myself of their shackles, the life I'd known is no more. But that was another life, one I would sooner put behind me. I came to Aeor Orzia in the hope that I might start anew here. I like how she's just like, bitch, did you say the Empire? <laughs> As for me, I also escaped from the Garlians. I was part of a resistance movement until we were all rounded up or killed, that is. The Empire took everything from me. My family, my homeland. With nowhere else to go, the two of us decided we we'd stand a better chance of surviving if we stuck together. And here we are. To see me now, you'd scarce believe I once served as a personal guard to my queen. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. I couldn't protect anyone. Not even my wife and son. <gasps> Ow! Oh, that feels Final Fantasy VI coded. I would have gladly given my life for theirs. It was not meant to, it was not to be. Even so, there may still be a use for the skills I spent years honing. Those whom I may yet deliver from harm. That's why, that's why I suggested looking for employment as a bodyguard in Eorzea, and Gridania seems a perfect place to start. Good place to start, whatever. I hate escort missions. I ah the 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 AI for escort missions is always so dumb. I know you've helped us enough already, but I have a proposal. Would you consider working with us? <laughs> Taken aback. Now hold on, Radovan. That's rather a lot to ask, don't you think? 
How did... Did I tell you my name? Mana has what it takes to become a gunbreaker. Seems my gunblade has caught your eye. You may have seen Garlands wielding something similar, but this is the genuine article. Ones used by the Empire are simply edged weapons with a firearm bolted on, or vice versa. While they have their uses, they pale in comparison to those my clan forged for generations. Our gun blades use etherically imbued cartridges. When you pull the trigger, the powdered crystal within ignites, releasing the ether. It sends a powerful shockwave through the blade, increasing its destructive capabilities. The cartridges can even be fired into the air to create defensive barriers. That is a whole lot of words. Perhaps you should save the lectures until you've heard Mana's answer. Ah, yes. First things first. So are you interested? <laughs> In exchange for assisting us, I'll teach you the art of the gunbreaker. I was wondering if you might be able to act as a guide. If you'd accept gunblade training from as, as a form of payment, we'd be most grateful. Once the coin starts rolling in, you'll receive a fair share. You need not answer right away, but please give it some thought. Oh, hell yeah. Of course I'll pick up another job. Oh, Sophie. When Radovan's at his best, he's unbeatable. The trouble is, he's not always at his best, as you saw. I think we'd both feel a lot safer with someone like you alongside us. Have you reached a decision? Do I wish to become a gunbreaker? From this day forth, our fates are intertwined. While the path that lies ahead is not an easy one, the spirits of my predecessors will watch over you. Do I get a gunblade? High steel gunblade and it's high quality? Let's go! Soul of the gunbreaker. Wait. What class leads me to gunbreaker? Outsider's attire coffer. Or do I always start, or do I already start? I'll have to give that, I'll have to give that a look. Oh, that's new. Is that their new jingle for, uh, for Stormblood? I accidentally did a Stormblood quest, oh no. Wait, I have to come find you bitches in the East Shroud every time I want to do a quest? All right, I guess I did find the bard out in the middle of no, like, bumfuck nowhere. Gridania. Melee classes such as Gladiator and Marauder can chain together their weapon skills to deal additional damage or inflict additional enfeeblements to their targets. This is known as a combo. Combos are not available to pugilists as this melee class employs a unique weapon skill chaining. Oh, God. This sounds like something I'm not going to understand until I actually start to do it. So... Goodbye. All right. These are now red, but that does not mean blue. So I'm not going to undertake any red quests uh, that I can't do just as bard because they're probably class specific and I'm through or job specific and I'm through with it anyway. So like all of the jobs that would be red if I hadn't completed them. So we're just going to move on. All right. Whoops. I'm naked. Hello. <laughs> There we go. What is this outfit? <laughs> All right, so I'm already a level 60 gunbreaker. Interesting. Flash, I know. I didn't mean to be naky. My bad. Oh, this is terrible. This is god awful. All right. Um I was not prepared. The only reason these are equipped is because some of these are all classes. Powder gauge unlocked? The fuck is that? Defensive stance royal guard is in effect, which increases enmity. Enmity? Enmity? Enmity. Performing a combo ending in solid barrel or demon slaughter adds cartridges to the powder gauge, which are expended by a burst strike and gnashing fang. So anyway. No, I do not want to. Um, add set, I guess. There we go. Even though this is terrible and uh, not what I want. I don't have actual gear for it. At least I have it equipped now. So we're just going to move that. Wait, move that up here as a job. I thought, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. And now we're going to go back to Bard <laughs> because what the fuck? There we go. All right. So I think that's all the blue quests here in Gradania. Well, East Shroud of Gradania for now. 
That's a normal quest. A windy wedding. Sanctum of the Twelve. Hooray! It's telling me I have things in the South Shroud, so we'll go there next. And then we'll return to Gridania at the end of all of it, because I'm sure that... Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. I don't know what directions are. Alright, to South Shroud. I've spent a lot of time in Gridania. <laughs> oh, wait. This way. There we go. I think. Where am I going? Oh, the cellars. <laughs> Up is down, left is right. I don't know directions. I'm really bad with maps. Gridania has all the best things. I love Gridania. Ooh. Okay, so this is a quest in progress with the Dark Divinity that is probably going to unlock Odin. Hooray. Or at least get me closer to unlocking uh, Odin. Also, this is the Palace of the Dead, which I haven't done anything with, and I don't plan on doing anything for a little bit at the very least. Hello. Are you a little Makote? No, you've got horns. What are you? Why do you have horns? You're not an Aura. Are you? Are you an Aura? I'm so confused. But you don't have a tail. Why do you have horns? Anyway, maybe it's a style choice. You must be the adventurer I've been expecting. Oh, Lord, Lewin is understandably <laughs> distressed, you think? Yeah, Odin is terrifying. Building a dark blade capable of cleaving the earth and heavens. And countless multitudes of her people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a forest spring. I guess that's probably where we're going. Wait, actually, but he's already revived, so maybe not. Earth's fount deep within the heart of the shroud, where the pris the crystal of a of a crower apparently, the power of a crystal confines him. This was many years ago, entirely within the realm of possibility that something has gone awry, and the fetters of the crystal confine the dark divinity no longer. Forewarned, your path will not be an easy one. Should any evil spirits stand in your way? This water of cleansing should avail you. Did I just get a key item? We're just going to put that on a tool because I have a feeling I will need it. <laughs> Little angry boy. He does look very angry. Or maybe just confident. You know, sometimes people mistake confidence for anger. I don't think he's mad at us. All right, Earth's font. Oh, neat. We're finally going here. That is a big dragon. At least it's easy to get places here. Ishgard is enormous. Just the size of the map itself is a lot. Unlocking all of it was not the easiest, but now I can fly and it's a lot better. It may look like I'm just dodge, duck, dip, diving, and dodging, but I, I swear I know where I'm going. At least I've found a place where I should be going. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Am I, am I using? No, I'm not. Okay. I guess I'm just killing it. This thing is actually kind of hard. I mean, and by that, I mean it's not dying immediately. Oh, an AoE! How dare! Oh, was it just automatically used? I guess? I don't know. Interesting. 
Kirby and the Bristol Shard. Shh, shh. I totally, totally know how to talk. You can't prove I don't. It's not on video or anything. Video, like it's, oh wow. On DVD? The streaming services? I don't know. I'm old. We're just gonna fly blindly through the trees and eventually find a place to clear. Hello. Crystal and Jill. The, uh, held the Dark Divinity in check. Were you able to ascertain what has become of it? The stone may have been the only thing preventing the Elder Primal Odin's return to Eorzea, and now the stone is destroyed. Aren't we lucky? Ha. <laughs> he was like, fuck this seal. Why does he tarry on the shroud? Oh, Simmy. I just passed her. She's somewhere over here, this direction. I think, like, up into the... Yeah, there she is. I knew I saw her on the way out. Hello. It's been broken and the dark divinity rides again. Must report, I must have to report immediately. Um, I will please take money. Let's go. Yeah, I think it is as well. I'm just, I hate that word. <laughs> All you wanted to know about Odin. Ooh, Savage Aim Materia bit outdated but okay one of the most credible theories presence in the shroud intend to deliver copies to them myself the scions too will no doubt will not be eager odin is a calm and understanding primal yeah it didn't sound like it i wouldn't try my luck oh we're delivering a copy to Uriange. all right Oh dear, is that gonna be spoilery? I don't, I don't think it, it might not be. Uh, tread carefully, tread carefully. I don't actually know if this will be a spoiler. Um, I'm going to assume I'm heading to the, yep. Chocobo saddlebag. <laughs> You'll close your eyes. Um, I still have five Vesper Bay Etherite tickets. I'm running low on them, but apparently it's only because I forgot that I could use them to begin with. <laughs> My bad! Use. And the Crystal Chronicles. Ah! You're just gonna torment me with my mispronunciation for the rest of the stream and beyond, aren't you? Why would I expect any different? <laughs> oh, I need to get this shut off my... Goodbye. You're done. Yes, I will ride a chocobo into the, the waking sands. Until I can no longer. I, I just kind of like stumbled over the word. Had 70... <laughs> Best for big tickets because you never even realized. Oh no! Uh, hello, Rianje. How are you? It's heartened by thy safe return. Wert thou able to cast light on the shadows that haunt the shroud? Yes, in fact, please take that. I didn't even realize you were involved in this, but I guess you are, so. Dark Divinity now arrives free in the shroud. Whilst you are afield, I immerse myself in the scriptures. The more I scoured the words, the more I did realize the writings draw heavily upon Allegan historical chronicles. The story is quite a fascinating beast, is it not? Uh, another villain's most abhorrent villain. <laughs> I mean, not to speak in platitudes, only to say there is never but a single side to any story. When a story was presented as historical fact, history is written by the victors, er, dear Ariange. <laughs> Okay, what impels the dark divinity to ride once again? Cast thine light on the shadows of history, friend, that we might be delivered from the darkness. Thank you. Wait. Am I going? What? What am I doing, Ariange? Ah! 
Okay, that actually would be spoilers if I if I spoke with him more. At least that wasn't spoilers. Um, am I going back? Probably back to East Shroud. We are gonna, or that I think I ended up in South Shroud. I only teleported away because I knew that I could return to Gridania for free. Ha. <laughs> Oh yeah, so yes. So yesterday was the masquerade and it didn't get over until about, I mean, we probably didn't make it to the hotel room until midnight-ish and definitely not in bed before about 1231 because there's always, wait, why are you giving me more things to do? I cleared you out. What do you want? Oh, Fear and Odin in the Shroud. Okay. All right. So I had to come here. Lucky. Yes. Has the command. Requested my aid. Waits me at Earth's Font. Okay. So we're heading right back anyway. Excellent. Uh, but there's a green, 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 green thing here. Okay. Cool. How fortunate. I would have ended up here again eventually because they tell me what to do uh, a lot of the time, but. Okay, to the Shaded Bower. Yes. And so then, like, I wasn't. I probably only got about four and a half hours of sleep. Because somebody decided they were going to start slamming doors at like 5.30 in the morning. And then I still had a long drive home. And I wasn't able to really nap. Because then we had a tabletop game tonight. that Or today. That we've been playing. And just starting out. So it was just not conducive to being alive this weekend. Between everything that we did Friday. A full day Saturday. And even more things Sunday. Today. It was not meant to be I was not meant to be awake I was whew, not able to nap at all and so I am tired <laughs> and I take the door out to dinner first damn retainer you rescued was most effusive in her praise retainers are of course <laughs> permitted to refuse a venture I was new to the profession and easily persuaded by her employer to accept what a dick all right. Yep, 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 yep. Send them out to gather things for me. Most retainers lack the skill to carry out all but the me most menial of tasks. Why not speak with my retainers and see what they think? Maybe later. Thank you for the venture tokens. All right, cool. I may now dispatch the retainers in my empl employ on adventures. Okay, we will do that later. I am sure it will only be a matter of time before I need to speak to a retainer because I... Hello, that is a naked cat girl. Mostly naked. Or maybe just very skin tone dress. All right, Lancer's Guild will head out to the East Shroud by boat. Did anybody else decide they were going to have blue quests pop up on me? No. Excellent. Hello. Please take me to East Shroud. Yes. And from East Shroud, I can head down to South Shroud. Cool. It's you. You're a blue quest now. How dare you? I had you cleared out. <laughs> Why would you ruin my day like this? Ugh. Perhaps nine o'clock. <laughs> I do have so much fun playing this. Like, I didn't expect to get hooked on a game like this. But I like it. Yet again, I missed where I needed to be. <laughs> Hmm. 
back down into the cellars with me. Only knew the two games with Crystal in the name, so I'm safe for now. I I figured you would be able to find like even more things to wait, East Shroud? What's an East Shroud? Where? Huh? Oh, this one. Okay. Well, it's just gonna have to stay there because I'm not not doing it right now. Back to the cellars. Wait. No. This way through the cellars. Um all the way down here. Okay. How much of this can I cut loose? Cut free. I hope a lot. Oh yeah, they're just letting me fly right through the out of bounds. In golf, I would be penalized for this, but I guess it's okay in Final Fantasy. All right, please unlock Odin. Hello, Conjure. Hello. Seek the Dark Divinity and you must be made privy to the plan before the game is afoot. The game is afoot? This is not a game, uh, dear child. This is life or death. <laughs> he has fallen before countless adventurers already. By rights, the Primal should plague us no more. His vanquished always rises to charge the Twelves would. Constant reappearance is perplexing. Who summons him? How does he change his visage upon manifesting? His devilish abilities. And the sword must serve. Our plan is to send a band of adventures against the Dark Divinity. Okay. Seeing the moment of his defeat may give them a clue. Sentence upon the company's victory. None but a warrior of light could hope to survive the battle. Go figure. Lend us your strength. If you acquiesce, I shall invoke the power of the elementals and draw the dark divinity to the spring. All right, cool. Yeah, we ain't doing that yet either. <laughs> Other blue quests. Uh, Three's a company. Okay. Is that one that I already have in my journal? Nope, but that is a level 60 quest. But it's also in Gridania, so if I don't clear it out now... One night at Amdapur. Okay, speak at Camp Tranquil. Leaves of Camp Tranquil. Oh dear, there's a lot to clear out here. Okay, uh, let's go to Three's a Company, even though it's a level 60 quest. That's weird. So, <laughs> I picked the definite wrong shoes to try to be dancing with in and I I have a blister for the first time and probably I mean I don't think I've had a blister in over a year at least not of like that variety and it really hurts it's like a stinging a, a constant stinging pain because it's just I rubbed it so so raw that's probably TMI and more information than you wanted, but it hurts and I hate it. So now I get to whine and you all have to hear me whine about it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I know what's the, I know what this is. This is a bard quest. Those shoes weren't made for dancing. They were not. Um, I know I said I want to do the blue quests. This one's going to wait. I I do not have access to Stormblood yet. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Hi, enjoy killing your cud trap. Okay. <laughs> um Steve comes a lot. <laughs> These fucking names. Okay. Uh I'm not going to do the bard quest just yet. Um because Yes, I will. This is probably post Heaven's Word. Wait, but Frankie is a bard. I will do this off all off off stream, so I don't spoil Frankie on the bard quest. Three's a company, though. Do we get? Do we get to encounter our um our gay lover boys again? I hope so. 
they started to grow on me. That's all I will say about the level 50 to 60 quests. But like, pretty, pretty, pretty sure they ended up gay together and I'm here for it. Lower pads. It's been a while since I've been here. Moogles! Wait, wait, go, go. Moogles! Hello! Oh, So cute! But a Moogle does not even least easily forget. Oh, Hold up. Hold up. I can fucking pet them. Wait, wait. Get closer. Pat harder. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A big oof about the shoes. Yeah. You were already invested. Now you're doubly invested. In which part? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, which bard quests are you on? Cursed pile of rocks they call the lost city of Amdapur. I thought we've already done something with Amdapur. Okay, okay. We've been to Amdapur Keep. Unclean presence. Satedness drained away after so many centuries. Hungers for another city to slake its thirst. What are we fighting now? What primal am I fighting now? <laughs> to this artful adventure. Simply attuned to something greater. Darkness stirring in Amdapur behind the barrier. Something is kindled there. Daily it grows. The nightmares. Oh boy. Ha, might I discover the source of these dark visions and nip it in the bud. Oh boy. You shall find a wood whaler by the name of Alphine keeping vigil at the barrier. All right. Level 50 bard because you keep getting distracted and lost. Oh no. Except for I'm... Oh, God. Elementals will doubtless keep us surprised, but enough talk. Good luck, Amana. All right. Just send me off to... Whoa, hi. <laughs> Just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. Um, Where is this going? Lost City of Amdapur. Oh, Southwest. Have I even seen this place? <laughs> oh, look at all these things that would be attacking me if I was a lower level. See, it's here. Some word of your coming. Bold indeed to glimpse the darkness. <laughs> you're the lance to the... You're to lance the boil. That's appropriate given what we were just talking about. Land out of balance. It's earth aspect sapped by the calamity. Best be prepared before proceeding further. Rot and wrong. So you'll see creatures on mad, tormented by hooked burrs that clutch and burrow. Not burrs again. It's like friggin' Arum Vale all over again. Being favored of the seed seers and all that. Fight well. Complete. Amdapur, whatever, has been unlocked. The lost city of Amdapur, now accessible. All right. Cool. That will also wait. It doesn't look like, um,. So, whoops, eh, whatever. You can vaguely see there's like quests behind the chat box. Um, that is where I'm keeping tab of everything. It's also in my journal tab, where all of these now, uh, Earth's Font, Gruruda, Ramu, the fucking Relic Quest, um, Never Reap, and yeah, cool. All of these are, um, I'm just going to have to get a team together. We're going to make a team. And hopefully just blast through these. Some of these are just trials. That will be nice. I feel like Never Reap and Fist of the Father are... Wait, aren't I supposed to have six? 
Oh, it just didn't even... Oh, you are fucked. Oh, I could have healed you! <laughs> I could have healed him! What the hell, dude? I was trying to save him, and he just died too fast. He died too fast and teleported. I could have brought him back to life. <laughs> That's funny. A dream journal tab. I... I do remember my dream from last night. I'm not going to talk about it. It was weird. And personal. <laughs> but I do remember my dream last night. <laughs> for the first time in like a little bit. Glamour prism. Silquiris. Toadskin jacket. Velveteen thing that I don't know how to pronounce. And a silver piece. The player said, nah, I'm doing my own thing, right? I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I could have helped. I'm Mirthalyn. All right. Oh, what are you going to assign me? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. What are you going to make me do? Uh, Coral Claw member. Oh, interesting. Haven't heard about them in a bit. Uh, several stockpiles of prohibited furs. Handling of any poachers. Okay, where, where are the furs at? Okay. All right. Arm for battle. Okay. Uh, where's your trial leave go? Okay. Break my ankles. Ow. Okay. Uh, duty. Journal. Initiate. Yep. Confirm. I know there's a disparity. Doesn't matter. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm kind of not, but maybe you shouldn't steal things. Did you ever think of that? Oops, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> maybe it's Velveteen. <laughs> I am a fan of like velvety things like the um I have a couple of cosplays that I'm doing out of crushed velvet and I'm just like yes I love how they feel oh you're already dead bye <laughs> whoops this is what I get for doing things so over leveled if I had I mean it's too high of a level for me to be able to do with my with my arcanist Arcanist, but it's very possible that like either Ulda or Lim Oh hello, Thunder. Um Limsa or Ulda will have ones that are more level appropriate for me that I haven't cleared out. Because I straight up went through a lot of stuff, a lot of quests from Gradania. So that's why there aren't so many. Alright, cool, cool. Thank you. Okay, I can take on love quests, leave quests if I want. Thank you for the silver pieces. Money. Okay, any more blue quests here? I don't think so. Camp Tranquil leaves unlocked. Okay. All right. I don't want to travel to Eastern Thanalan yet. So where else should we go in the shrouds? Oh, wait. Oh, neat. I didn't actually know that it would tell me. Okay. So, we've cleared East Shroud and South Shroud. Let's go to North Shroud. Well, maybe I think we can hit Central Shroud first. Okay, Central Shroud. Central Shroud. Yes. It's a Central Shroud. That is not hard to say at all. Because that's the bard quest, and I don't want to spoil the bard quest for Frankie. I will come back. Hello, Inochi. Welcome in. Oh, you're alive now. You're not. <laughs> Welcome 
in, welcome in. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going for terribly much longer. I am very tired. Very, very, very tired. Which is why I'm not reading. But I at least wanted to do something today. It's, it's been a bit. Hammering coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that if I drink coffee too late, I even might struggle to sleep tonight despite being so tired because I had coffee around two o'clock today and that was probably a mistake, but I saw no other way to get through the tabletop game. So I may in fact suffer for it, but at least I was awake. Wait, are all the blue quests? Wait, Bent Branch. Um, I've already cleared here. I need to go check out North Shroud. Okay. So East Shroud is clear. Sweet. Okay. Very nice. I've made a big loop. And this big loop has told me that Gradania is mostly clear of blue quests. Yay. <laughs> you know the feeling. Yeah. Breaking your bedtime lately because of coffee. I'm hoping I don't do that to myself. The good news is it is a short week. I have Friday off. So that'll be good. I keep like pronouncing things weird and it makes me think there's a fight. I'm not going to spoil. Um, I'm not going to spoil names, but the person that you're fighting is very Scottish and it's odd. But literally as you're fighting him, all he was saying, despite the fact that we were actually doing a very good job at taking him on. He just kept going, sloppy, sloppy. And I'm just like, would you shut the fuck up? So it's become like a joke now between my friend, one of the friends that I went to the masquerade with. Um, <laughs> because we had, we can't get it out of our heads. We ran the, the raid together. And now all we're hearing is just sloppy. <laughs> like, would you shut up? Ugh. Oh, hello, Spriggans. Hello, Spriggans. I wouldn't say he sounds like Shrek, but the accent is very Shrek-like. Um, so it's just... Uh. Okay. So we have a lot of not blue quests. Not blue, not blue, not blue. One day I will come back and I will clear the rest of them out. Potentially with another, like, class or a job. Oh, gosh. Uh, I can make it 20 more minutes. We'll have at least a two-hour stream. Oh, no blue quests. Very nice. Very nice. I cannot do blue quests in the Kurtha Central Highlands. That that would be that would be very spoilery. We're going to we're going to stay out of spoilers for this this round. Um and perhaps perhaps we'll have like once I get to Heaven's Word. This is specifically I'm trying to clear a Realm Reborn quest. So once I get to Heaven's Word quest, it'll be like, "Hey, spoilers for Heaven's Word." But I don't want to take a Realm Reborn stream and make it Heaven's Word. So we're just not going to do that. So I'm avoiding the bard quest. I don't know what they will tell me that. Or I don't know what they'll tell me in that. And a lot... Excuse me. My apologies. Uh, a lot happens in Heaven's Word and post Heaven's Word. Wait. Let me in! Yes. Today's special is sloppy, Joes. Well... So when we when someone brought their cure again, so we 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 reside when we're doing our tabletop stuff in a local um, game shop, and the person one of the people who helps, I guess, run it lives above it, in like apartment situation type one of those, and so she brought down some coffee for us, and like in a in a Keurig and I looked at the friend who also went with me to the masquerade who also plays like Final Fantasy with me and I just go coffee <laughs> it's just 
it's become another such devastation. Which I'm not sure if you're at that point yet, Frankie, but when you get to here, when you get to the point where you hear someone say such devastation, I have some memes to send you. <laughs> All right, old Harlimsa, old Harlimsa. Uh... Gold saucer. Did the, does the gold saucer have blue quests for me? Maybe. But also, go stopping by the gold saucer first. Um, stopping by the gold saucer first gets me free travel to Old Aw when I get done checking to see if there's actually blue quests here. You're well past such devastation. Okay, good. It was your intention. <laughs> such devastation. This was not my intention. Well, that's why you don't uh, shack up with the bad guys, fuckface. And now you're dead. Sucks to suck. <laughs> okay, so you're in like seventh astral era quests or have you made it to Heaven's Ward now? Like dead, dead, yeah. <laughs> we fucked him up. <laughs> Okay, this will actually take me to the next event square, so. Why is everyone staring at us, Branford? All plus ratio, yeah, we we messed him up quite a bit. Okay. I actually don't see any blue quests, so that's pretty nice. Um, but I need to check a bow square. There we go. Nope. Skull saucer employee traders okay we're out of the gold saucer where's where's the etherite help wait oh that's just leap of faith are both the etherites upstairs hold up Yes. Right outside of the next area. But you have to do a story dungeon with people. But <laughs> I am how you say a coward. Oh no. Maybe he was Scottish Canadian with a heavy <laughs> emphasis on the S. No, I think he was just drawling it so that he could try to humiliate us further and it didn't work. It was just kind of like, you're not... You're not intimidating us here, sir. We are kicking your ass quite thoroughly. All right, to Ulda. But yeah, you're not gonna be able to unhear. Like when you when you get to him, you you'll know what I mean because he just keeps saying it. Also, lamest reveal ever. Called it. Freaking called it. Like. He wasn't, he wasn't fooling anybody. All right, husting strip. Hello, Nori, welcome in, welcome in. I'm only gonna be going for about 15 more minutes. I am, I am EP to the extreme, but I'm trying. Oh, it's an alchemist guild quest. Not quite dead yet. I was like, how do I have a level 60 unlocked? But I'm currently barred. That made no sense until I realized that is an alchemist quest. God, the alchemist quests were heartbreaking. Whoops, I didn't actually want to go to the alchemist guild. At home from an EP part at a friend's. Place with hot pot cake and card games. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm always glad to have you, even if you come in like towards the end. Needs to be charged up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just 
I know I try to redirect, but I'm just going to end stream and I'm probably just going to throw my pajamas on and go to sleep. I do not have... I do not have energy right now. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. So many blue quests. Ah! Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, it was a busy, busy, busy weekend between Fish Friday and a Masquerade and Tabletop Gaming. It was a lot. I did. I did a lot. <laughs> I just did a lot. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you are a level 50. We have the Samurai. We'll unlock the Samurai job. Let's go. An old on citizen is ripe to burst with excitement and seeks a hapless passerby upon whom to unburden himself. I'll get the soul of the samurai, a Mithrite Uchigatana, and a nameless armor coffer. Okay. Falls, balls, just when you think you've seen it all, the world's full of surprises. What am I talking about? Oh, nothing much, just the most amazing blade work I've ever seen. It wasn't even the main card either, but light entertainment. A Far Eastern fellow, old enough to be my grandfather, appeared and called for challengers. But who should answer him but a brute of a gladiator? People thought it was either mummery or a sick joke. After all, what could one expect from such a mismatch? The old and infirm versus the young and inform? But when the action began, the old man proceeded to drop everyone's jaws. His opponents, not least of all, with his blistering blade work. The most riveting moment, though, was when he had the challenger on the back foot, for instead of finishing the job, he went and sheathed his blade. Putting your steel away in the heat of battle? Well, that's akin to committing suicide. This wasn't lost on the gladiator, who lunged with a mighty swing. The spectators gasped collectively, thinking it was over, and it was. But not for the old man. <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. For the next instance, before anyone could comprehend what had happened, his opponent was crumpled on the ground. In one fell stroke, and with impossible speed, the old man had drawn his sword and dealt the telling blow. A few heartbeats passed in stunned silence, then the stands erupted in riotous cheering. Gods, just recounting it gives me the chills. The speed, the precision, the elegance, simply sublime. How's it possible I had never heard of these Far Eastern warriors, these samurai? Wait, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? You want to face the old man? Well, that silver-tongued showmaster was looking for a new challenger, but you don't want to do this. Let someone else be the fool. <laughs> Finally got to enjoy Fish Friday. Yeah, the first Fish Friday in a while. How was the tartar sauce? It was delicious. It was an onion tartar sauce that... Mmm, delicious. With some, uh, I think it was fried pollock delightful absolutely delightful could not have asked for a better end to fish fridays considering i missed most of them but like could not have have asked for a better end of fish fridays than that incredible applesauce coleslaw toast well bread tea mm. yes and fries of course can't have your fish without your chips <laughs> wymond Phoenix down? Phoenix down? I've yet to get a single Phoenix down in this game. Until now. Rise and fall of gentlemen. Here you've been busy as a bee, mana. Seems half the whispers what come my way relate to your comings and goings. Yeah. <laughs> Ever heard of a man named Hildebrand? I have, but I don't think I've heard of him in game. I just hear people talk of him out of game. Tell me about this gentleman. To hear him tell it, he was Eorzea's greatest and most famous inspector. Can't say I'm surprised you don't know him. Knack for showing up when something shady was afoot. It's for Susson, out the culprits, had his moments, so I'd hesitate to give him sole credit. Crack the code of Messiah's seventh verse. Tell him of the calamity. All of it can be stopped, he says, so long as he finds the hero of prophecy. And when you know it, the hero is Hildebrand himself. I feel like this is going to end badly. Flies off towards Dalamud. Launches himself straight into the air somehow, ridiculous as it sounds. It's only logical he's got to come 
down. That was only recently we found his body. Was he a dragoon? He's become an inspector in her own right. Investigating the queer rumors I mentioned earlier. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft, but sweet nonetheless. So when I hear she's at her wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I meddle not to, to... I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living zombies. Are not my forte. This game has it all. Now they've got zombies. So if you're willing, I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand as to where to find her. She's visiting Hildebrand's grave in the lich yard where she's frustrated. Try looking there for her first. What? Made this sound exciting, isn't it, though? A samurai versus a gladiator? So exciting. Yeah, I guess... I guess, uh... Ow. Mm. The blister. I hit the blister. Ow. Fish and chips. Yeah, I've become British now. Okay. Uh, there's also the killer instinct level 70. I don't... What? I, I am level 70, but like... I am level 70, but only because I'm over leveled. I don't, is this a Stormblood quest or not? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm done cheering. <laughs> I had to join in. <laughs> I see people with light sticks, I must light stick. Flustered attendant. Hello. Uh, unlock the Reaper job? Okay. Fighting sword, yes, and by the looks of it, one of no mean skill. My employer is desperate in need of a woman of your talents, you see. He's been beset by threats from an unsavory group of thugs called the Lemurs. Their leader demands my past master part with some of his considerable wealth. Or, I'll just tell you they call her the Reaper and leave the rest to your imagination. We don't intend to acquiesce to these churlish demands without a fight, and a stout arm by your side would go far to ensure our survival. Your arm, perhaps? Okay, considerable wealth. If you would aid us, come make haste to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange where we make our stand against these brutes. I'm surely not going to be fighting in the middle of Uldah. They wouldn't allow that, right? There, there, there are civilians and shit, right? My first Hora. Okay, I've unlocked the Pugilist, so that's good. I don't have to worry about that. And I've unlocked Thaumaturgy, so that's good. I wonder if she'll be a rapper. I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to do... Um, I actually can't remember the name of it right now. I'll do it at some point, probably when I do like a... It's not really emo, though. I don't know. I want to do a rap song at some point. Did I ever sing Let You Down? I feel like I sang Let You Down. I don't even remember at this point. I'm going to go answer the call of the freaking dude at the Sapphire Exchange. And oh, no, there's another blue quest there. All right. I'm going to at least... See what Mr. Reaper dude wants for me. Distraught Lass. Nope, that is not the right one. Hello. Sorry, Distraught Lass. You're just going to have to wait. Every own the brave warrior. I will never do rap god. I know that for a fact. Bum, 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 bum. Huh? What? He thinks I'm stealing from him, dude. She's a friend. This adventurer has agreed to help. We'll show her the Reaper. We'll show the Reaper what her empty intimidations are worth. Oh, boy. What have I gotten myself into? Lemurs have made my life a waking nightmare. Sight unseen. They've demanded I begin paying them for the luxury of my own life. Wait, does Ninja turn into Reaper? Or is Reaper its own thing? 
Huh. No, no. Rogue Rogue becomes ninja. Reaver appears to be its own thing. But I could get a fucking scythe. Let's go. Interesting theory you have there. Care to test it? Mommy? <laughs> I say that sarcastically, but you were the reaper. <laughs> so many shiny things. <laughs> oh, so they fucked up. They tried to play games. <laughs> Man is like, what was all that about sight unseen? I'm going to be sassy. I'm going to be sassy because man is a sassy person. <laughs> She's like, care to explain yourself? <laughs> oh, they're going to kill him. Unless he coughs up the money. Wait, you're not talking about killing me, are you? I mean, have at him. Uncommon metal. Okay, she's just sizing me up. <laughs> <laughs> the killer instinct. I mean, I've murdered so many people. I've murdered so many people. She's like, do I now? Do I? <laughs> Allow me to take this adventurer off your hands when the debt is forgiven. Wait, I'm the payment now? I'm sorry, my body is not for sale. What them in your trade call a bargain. Seems you've been made a free agent. Come visit our headquarters in Pearl Lane. The door's open. <laughs> Hi, Gray. Welcome in. I'm just finishing up a couple of quests. I'm so sorry. I am EP. EP Twyla. Twyla needs her sleep. Twyla needs to dream. Please, you must. You must do as the Reaper asks. If you don't, I fear she might return for her wages and this time demand interest. You know what? Just for that, you get a, um... There's a certain dance that makes you do a kick. Bap. <laughs> And once more for good measure. Bap! <laughs> oh, I want about as well as can be expected. At least I think it's payment, you say? Regretfully, it seems your contract has changed hands. You know what? You're tall enough I can smack. Bitch slap. All right, distraught lass. Lass. <laughs> Sloppy. <laughs> oh, another job. Red Mage! Red Mage, my love! I love Red Mage! I love Red Mage so much. You have to rescue my sister. Some horrible people tried to kidnap us just outside the city gates. Your sister never caught up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I will save her. Where are your parents? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> Thank you so much. Straight ahead. The gate here. Keep going straight ahead. Traveler was some sort of mage. But it was one against five. Surely he couldn't stand against so many. Ha <laughs> ha! I see. I see that you underestimate the impressiveness that is a red mage. Fucking love red mage! They can heal. They can attack with magic. They can attack with swords. How much more could you ask for? A jack of all trades. <laughs> Delightful. Loyal Lemur. Boss told me it'd be a long coming in. Yes. Red Mage. I love Red Mage too. I know they're not seen as like a highly wonderful specialized class, but God Damn it, they're just so cool. They have the best outfits. 
Oh, good night, Gray. Oh, hello. I like your eyes, good sir. Everyone deserves to be the happiest. I will be the happiest. You can't look at me with that piercing gaze. Whew. The confidence in these people. I can't stand it. Champion of Eorzea deigns to appear before me. Damn right I am. It's hard not to in this line of work. It's hard not to in any line of work. <laughs> like, come on. I'm the fucking warrior of light. Everybody knows me. No desire to put the killer to the proof personally. God damn it. Why do you have to remind me that I have to murder people for to live? There's a whole church I cleared out myself, like. <laughs> There's a job I'd like you to take care of for me. Really? Depends on the job. She might have some gray morals after some of the bullshit that she's gone through. I wouldn't ask you to so much as bend the law. The job is purely for the benefit of your fellow man. Well, good. Kill one for me. Kill ain't the right word. CNC's he's already dead. More zombies? Just avoid scent using some poor sap's body as a vessel to unleash its singular brand of wickedness upon the world. Terrifying. Okay. All right. I have a target now. Oh, I see. Need to train you in techniques. Techniques that'll let you pierce the void and slaughter its kin. Ah, oh, so that's the lore behind Reapers. Heh. <laughs> Keep talking. You have my interest. Oh! Don't see many Garleans in Old Daw, do you? Let alone ones as savage as this. Save your startled gasp. I'm not out of surprises yet. I should have realized. I should have realized. Whenever they have, like, something over their, their forehead, it's always suspect. Hold your hand out to the crystal here. If you're made of the stuff I think you are, you're in for a treat. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell no. What? What did I just unleash? Knew you had what it takes. Am I to kill this thing? An avatar, a manifestation of your essence and the stygian power of the void scent on the other side. A void scent to which if you so choose, I will bind myself. I don't want to be a vessel for a creature. Gain skills unlike anything you've ever known. Skills that have allowed people like me to operate in the shadows and kill those that need killing since time immemorial. I don't want to, I don't want to make a, a contract with a creature from the other side. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Should you walk this path is to use the power of one void setting against another for the betterment of the realm. The wisdom of countless generations of Garlean assassins? This is badass as fuck! But if siding with my kind. Oh! Wait! Thought of having one foot in the void twist your. Would you let me read? Take your virtue and piss off! You might have let me read everything before you got all righteous and quick, quick speaking on me. Have the tools to see her justice done and done right every time. Every moment her quarry stalks the land is another opportunity for her to do harm. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk out your fucking office. I'm sorry. I 
Do you like jazz? Hello. Yes, please let me finish this quest. There'll be no turning away once you've chosen, mind you. You'll dance with death and return its envoy, or you won't return at all. So what'll it be? Ha! Huh. I will not suffer this void scent to threaten the innocent. I will dance. <laughs> Does the... Let's not waste time. Take this crystal and attest to both worlds that you walk as a reaper. Bind yourself to the void and claim the strength that the weak of heart shun. Jesus, this is crazy. The, the, through the avatar at your side does the void scent bring its bear, par, power to bear. Feeding upon the souls of the fiends you cut down in return, not a bad arrangement. I'm sure you tire of words. Here, the traditional weapon of our order. Let's see how it looks strapped to your back. Well, I'm about to be naked again, so... Complete. Reaper unlocked. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. It's time to get naked. A deep gold war scythe and it's high quality. They are just, they're just giving me all the good things. All right. Recommended gear, even though it's going to be shit. Uh, hello? Um... Hello? I didn't even know I had this clothes! Um... I, I, I'm here for it. I look fucking badass! What? Okay. Look at that. Oh my God. I am a fucking badass. Hell yeah. I don't have a target. I can't hit anything, but like. Ah! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally, totally normal about this. I didn't even realize I had these clothes because like as Bard, I have my my glamour sets and I haven't needed to like. Damn, she's got her belly showing. She's got her scales on her arms showing and on her lower back like. Damn. Um. So she discovered her sexy side and I'm here for it. Soul gauge unlocked. I'll learn that later. Okay. Uh, for now, I get to return to being a bard. And, uh, leave the headquarters. Sheesh, right? God damn. Or seven hells or by the fury or whatever they like to use as cuss words in this game. <laughs> when East meets West. I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. I, I know. I know who I'll find if I do work when East meets West. But I shan't. I shan't. Not tonight. Oh, I want to see. I want to. I want to do it. That. I mean. Never mind. Okay. Uh, blue quest. The way of the samurai. Okay. Blue quest, way of the samurai, well dressed lass. For. Alright. I think this is where I will end tonight. We'll probably come back to this on Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Hollow Night. But I should probably. I should probably sleep. Definitely. I'm already. I was so taken in by the Reaper quest, I went an additional 10 minutes longer than I planned. <laughs> But I do desperately need to take care of myself and get some good sleep. So I will leave you here. Hollow Knight tomorrow. 
um tuesday i will be jumping in um it is going to be lulu's um debut i'm planning to hop in on some of the totsu and like party games if i can i've been really bad about communicating because i've just had like a fuck ton on my plate and i should have done better but i would like to at least be there to support um her debut and wednesday then wednesday will be final fantasy then and friday might be a different collab i need to see what i'm doing that day if i'm doing anything with friends and then i get back to somebody else and saturday is saturday the first wait wait oh hold up that's a monday oh wait i'm all discombobulated i've got my days my days all messed up Monday should be free for me. Why am I like so freaking confused? Okay, so we might have Saturday. Wait, Friday. Wait. You know what? I'll get back to you on that. Um, I clearly need to sleep and get my head in order. So, yes, yes. That is what we will do. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining me on just like a bullshitting like talk stream while I cleared out things so that I can move on to Evan's word and Stormblood and beyond. Um, have a good night, and I will talk to everybody later. I'm so sorry you just got back, Bubba. At least you were here for other parts of the stream, and it's not like I just abandoned you, like, immediately. You got to spend a little time. That's awesome. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm going to go die now. And by die, I mean sleep. Hopefully I don't die in my sleep. That would be very tragic and sad. I'm not going to die in my sleep. Maybe in my dreams. That's happened before. I've died a lot in my dreams. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Good night.